Princess Agnes, the beautiful and powerful sorceress who nearly got married to Riften? Is she a friend or a romantic rival to Maxie? Let's find out. What about Agnes's feelings? Does she have a thing for Riften? Here are two reasons why we might think so. 1. Agnes keeps on talking about past experiences with Riften that Maxie doesn't know about. What? Ever had that unpleasant feeling when your significant other's friend calls them by a nickname you didn't know? That's exactly what happened to Maxie when she meets Agnes for the first time in Caleb's castle. Agnes fondly calls Riften Mago, huh? the name of a powerful, mythical creature that never tires and has a hundred lives. Huh. She also fondly reminisces the good old times fighting together, making Maxie feel left out. It's even worse for Maxie because before coming to Anatol, her life was nothing but pain and loneliness due to her father's abuse. To know that her husband had gone through so much with so many people, including this stunning woman, must be hard to take. <laughs> 2. Agnes seems to create a distraction or diversion when Maxie and Riften are trying to have sexy times. So this could just be a coincidence. But there are more than two instances where Agnes actually interrupts Maxie and Riften in the middle of their passion. Coincidence? I think not! For example, in Chapter 95, Maxie and Riften are love-struck at the mere sight of each other once again, so they start to make out in the woods right next to a village festival. Just when things are about to get really hot, Agnes blasts off fireworks into the sky, and Maxie and Riften are forced to stop and deal with that. Is this intentional? Maybe Princess Agnes had a little too much ale? We'll leave that for you to decide. By now, all signs seem to point towards rival, but hear us out. Here are three reasons Agnes is actually a true friend to Maxie. One, Agnes encourages Maxie and helps her become a sorceress. We all have friends who've praised us, but how many actually stop and help you achieve your goals? After Ruth, Agnes is the only person that says to Maxie that she is talented as a sorceress. She's the one who actually hustles to get Maxie become an official mage by getting trained in the Mage Tower. Obviously, Riften is furious with Agnes because he doesn't want Maxie to go off and be in danger becoming a mage. But for Maxie, Agnes is the career counselor she never had. You need to go ahead and worry about your life and your career. Two, Agnes is concerned when she realizes Riften is limiting Maxie. Sometimes your girlfriends catch a red flag before you do and get worried for you. It's the same with Agnes. In chapter 153, Agnes tells Maxie her honest opinion. Sir Riften seems to be irrationally protective of you. Some might say as if he were trying to protect a six-year-old. And she goes on to say, Of course, that wouldn't be a problem if you had no objection to it. But if that is not the case, you must make him see that you possess a will of your own. 3. Agnes is a role model for Maxie. Who run the world, girl? We must admit, in the first large portion of this epic story, Maxie is not in a good place with herself. She's been abused and isolated for 22 years, and her self-esteem is hitting rock bottom. But when she meets Agnes for the first time, Maxie begins to dream of a bigger life for herself. She sees how Agnes has all kinds of adventures and secretly wonders whether she can be like her, too. Later on, Maxie gets to understand that Agnes, being a woman in a patriarchal society, has faced prejudice and injustice all her life, but has never let that bring her down. For Maxie, Agnes is the role model who not only inspires her, but is actually the trailblazer that Maxie can follow. So what readers actually see over time is a truly wholesome friendship forming between two strong, independent women. And we can never have enough of that. And bonus reason, at the end of the day, do you really think Riften is even capable of having romantic feelings for someone other than Maxie? Yeah, no. That will shrivel up any romantic rivalry. Do you think Agnes is an ally or a secret villain? Like and comment to let us know. And subscribe to our channel for more content. And as always, be sure to read the official Under the Oak Tree novel on Amazon to support the author.